We demand a lot out of our network infrastructure these days, especially all of that stuff supporting our remote offices. We build them up, we stack them high, multiple hardware-based devices that we need for business critical services, things like firewall, IPS, visibility and control, load balancing, redundancy. The point is we end up with rigid configurations that can't keep up with increasing demands from the applications that are leading our business. Well, it's time to liberate these functions from the network hardware. It's time that they run in software independent of the host. It's time for network function virtualization. Now, this is not about doing the same thing that we've always done, but with less hardware. Sure, that may reduce complexity, but gets us no closer to real network agility. We actually need NFE and SDN. Let me explain. When we drive, we make decisions on lane selection, alternate routes, and other things as we encounter issues that appear right in front of us. Well, GPS comes along, and now we don't need paper maps or bad directions from well-meaning friends, but we're still driving the same. Now enter the smartphone with intelligent apps like maps and real-time data to traffic issues and speed zones. I love that stuff. It feels like networking, a source, a destination, we are guided along the way by changing road conditions, traffic signals, road signs, congestion, hop-by-hop -hop decisions that might cause us to reroute. Now this works okay, but you can see the decisions are being made at that street level. Will software-defined networks help make intelligent network routing decisions with a more omniscient controller? And for driving, this would be a future of driverless cars, where a central authority controls all the moving parts without that messy human middleware. Automation is required to truly revolutionize traffic control. I mean, think of the traffic congestion caused by a, by a wreck, a, a big event, or maybe just bad drivers. What if more roads or an, an off-ramp were created automatically and on-demand and then taken away when they're no longer needed? It'd be like living in the matrix. Well, this is how the combination of SDN and NFE can work for your network. It's SDN providing intelligence for the automation that we desperately need in our networks so that we can proactively respond to real-time conditions. But it's also NFE, which is guided by the higher source at that street level, providing the elasticity where the network services are now fully separated from each other and their hardware platform. Well, these virtual network functions, these VNFs, are now free to be moved and used wherever they are needed. So you see how SDN and NFE are both dynamic, complementary functions. Well, there are four scenarios to consider when making this NFE transition within Cisco. The first two preserve the router or the edge network device with the compute element either running next to it or even within it, like your UCSE compute blade running inside of a Cisco ISR. But scenarios three and four are full-on NFE with all transport network functions virtualized. It's routing, security, app performance, and any other services running in purpose-built x86 compute hardware as virtualized services. And this purpose-built hardware addresses special deployment and operational considerations, such as footprint size, uh, hardware, offload capability, or non-traditional uh, physical interface support. And then number four, this final scenario, it gets rid of all that purpose-built hardware using only common network interfaces like Ethernet. Well, the journey to NFE can be as gradual as you'd like with the first two scenarios or as fast as you like with those other two. Now, there are also four components at the heart of the network edge. The first one is the Cisco NFVIS, or Network Function Virtualization Infrastructure Software. This is a Linux-based platform that Cisco purpose-built for NFE that includes drivers and firmware for physical hardware processes and connectivity, plus specialized components like hardware offload for fast switching or advanced cryptography. Also includes multiple agents with server monitoring and user interfaces. These provide the consistent UI, be it web or CLI, when you need local control of the switch, independent of the switch vendor you may be using, by the way. Well, the NFVIS also covers lifecycle management, vastly reducing the complexity it takes for a network admin to deploy and manage virtual services with crucial things like PNP, that's plug and play functionality, providing zero touch deployment with automated profile based processes for provisioning, deploying, and configuring VNFs. Now, number two, so the second component, is the virtualization layer. Simple. Number three would be the VNFs themselves. And finally, number four, the OAMNP interface. That's the orchestration, automation, management, and provisioning interface right here on the northbound side using a common control protocol like REST, NetConf Yang, or SNMP. Now, the controller is logically at the top side of our diagram here, supporting the ESA, it's Enterprise Services Automation. 
And this is where it really all comes together. So ESA provides one-touch orchestration of network services across the enterprise. Centralized provisioning, service chaining, lifecycle management, and monitoring of all your virtual network functions. Well, ESA also provides consistent management across the enterprise, including any physical network elements that may not yet be virtualized. I mean, after all, that is going to be the reality of any transition to NFE. Our networks have to continue supporting the business. So imagine rolling out new branch offices with a template that includes Cisco, of course, but even third-party VNFs as well. Because that's flexibility without the sacrifice of throughput, consistency, or reliability. Network function virtualization requires a single, fully integrated platform that can run on top of a diverse network, seamlessly mixing both virtual and physical devices. Because this is what we call enterprise NFE. So forget the road rage. Learn how Cisco's Enterprise NFE can get you out of that bad traffic and on your way to efficient, dynamic, virtualized networking.